Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at creating a parts list in the drafting application within NX um, and a little bit of ballooning uh, maybe. So um, it's actually pretty simple but if you've never done it it might be a little uh, a little confusing. Um, so you see we have on our assembly navigator we see we have a top level master model which is the drawing um, and I think it is a little odd that there is a part um, directly in so there's, there's an assembly um, I guess this might not be too unusual the the assembly is the base of this workbench and then there's a, a standalone part uh, which is the top uh, but there is a master model of the drawing and maybe you know this or maybe you don't that NX can you can simply switch to drafting within a model or you can make a new separate part file that references another part um, to give you both workflows uh, and the, the latter is what they call the master model approach so let's go create a parts list and um, maybe the first time you try one uh, you'll get something like this and think that looks you know, maybe not a lot like what you typically see. The column headers are at the bottom. It's divided up into these two pieces. Um, and X calls them sections. You know, when the parts list is too big to be um, created all in one object, they divide it up so it could be separated or wrapped, maybe put on another sheet. Uh, it gives you ultimate control. So what, why did it do that? Um, if you go to file uh, drafting preferences and do a search for um, something in the parts list area you will see um, a common and then the section the section so each of those chunks of that part list um, were a section and so the column header above and the 10 um, we can bump that up to 20 and hit OK and then when I create parts list again um, we get we're allowed up to uh, uh, 20 I believe that's rows uh, still not optimal you can you can grab it and you can certainly change the width this way um, but there are many settings for how this part list uh, appears. Um, a couple of little points as you're selecting, if you move your mouse very close to the top of a column, uh, you, you'll see it select the entire column and then when you click you can get to the settings um, for that column and um, if you click a particular cell you can get to settings um, you know for that that one cell uh, if you click the little node and go to cell settings um, I think that's all the cells and then if you um, if you right click uh, and select you can get the table section and then when you either right click or you can use this button to edit settings um, you'll have uh, yet different things that you can change so it's very sensitive to what you select and things like that uh, the grow direction I thought I'd get that out of the way because this is kind of an upside down uh, grow direction that's an odd term but um, that's your um, your piece number that's kind of a uh, generic index uh, and then there's um, you know if you wanted this to start with 10 and increment with 10 that kind of thing that's basically what that is and um, there's also oddly enough when we finally do the call outs and the ballooning you'll find um, settings in here for so we may want call out in quantity and for the reference we won't get into that so we'll just turn that off and I'll um, I 
That looks pretty good. Um, let's go and do cell settings. If we uh, if we turn off the wrapping, we'll get no wrapping. And if we turn off auto size text, it may not have enough room to fit the text in the column. Um, but if you choose to auto size the column, uh, it will ensure that the text fits on one single row uh, within the column. Pretty easy. Uh, then if you attempt to resize it later, it's going to warn you that, you know, you're kind of breaking those settings that you just changed. Um, and do you want to do that? You can say, no, oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. Um, I'll double click and maybe call this item. Now to insert... Um, you might not see it if you don't if you don't um, select just so. So I kind of want to select a a column and then I can right click, insert a uh, column to the right, and then um, on that column, if I pick it, you can choose what is in it. So I might choose an attribute. Um, Material is probably a pretty good one, and we probably want it to have uh, all the same settings. We could probably just, you know, you would set this once and forget it, but because we're adding columns, we have to change this. I don't want the wrapping, and I don't want to auto size the text, but I do want to auto size. The row yeah that looks good I guess um, that's not quite right okay so not bad. I think that's that's close enough. I'm poking around a little bit. Now, um, what if we want to make changes here? Uh, NX is a great way. You can simply multiple do multiple selection over here in your assembly navigator and right click properties and then go to your attributes. And this bulk edit is really nice for this type of application. Uh, I'm going to change it to individual part because I just want anything I do to one part, I want it to happen to all instances here. And um, for the plywood, we might change this to bamboo or something like that. And uh, hit apply, and there's our bamboo. You can certainly add uh, a new attribute here as well. Super easy uh, once you know how to do it. So I think that's pretty good uh, as a starter. You can also, um, if we select, uh, let's see, go and pick, make sure everything is highlighted. Um, you can also save this out as a template in the form of a part file or um, you could just do all this in your drafting preferences as well whichever you think is more productive um, now let's go ahead and do a little ballooning just gonna I'm gonna kind of focus on maybe this one view here we'll do auto balloon um, the parts list is what it needs to know about so I click that and a middle mouse to accept. Middle mouse is a common exception. And then you can click the view and it picks it from the list. You could do multiple uh, multiple views if you wanted to. Um, so there's item number over 
quantity. And it doesn't look too bad. These balloons are um, they're pretty easy to tweak. If you double click one, the attachment point should be the default. If you notice your little uh, select options up here, you can get it to attach to an arbitrary point. Then I'll just middle mouse and then grab the balloon and bring it over. It's quite easy. So there you have it, a uh, little parts list and uh, automatic ballooning with uh, NX12 drafting. Thank you for watching.